Science is a little bit like art. It's very creative. So it's high risk by high reward. I work on viruses that affect human health, like dengue virus, influenza, and HIV. But my, most of my research is really about dengue virus. They call it break bone disease. So people, they say they feel like their bones are breaking, so it probably is very painful. But it's really self-resolving, so people get sick for a few days and then they resolve the disease. But there is this small percentage of people that get this severe dengue, which is dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome. So that can be lethal. What is really interesting to me is understanding the biology of the virus, how the virus really has evolved to really deal with the human immune system. This is a disease that is caused by your own response to the virus infection. To me, it's, it's very interesting because we're really looking at a disease that is a reaction to the infection. So for us, it's important to understand what causes this reaction. So where are the steps that the virus is taking to really manipulate our immune system? Most people are looking at the outcome, which is your antibody response, but I'm more interested in where are these early events that make a virus succeed or not succeed? If we don't understand the basics of how the disease is caused, it's going to be very difficult for us to really help with the vaccine development. I really don't have an end goal because your research evolves depending on the opportunities. If you're working on something that you can anticipate maybe some impact in human health, it also gives you some kind of satisfaction, you know, that maybe you're contributing a little drop of sand <laughs> to the mountain. <laughs>